How's it going everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the ZLLRC's SG908. It is a foldable brushless motor 5G Wi-Fi FPV remote tilt adjustable 4K camera 3-axis gimbal GPS RC quad cutter ready to fly. So let's take a closer look at this thing here. It's got the brushless motors at 1700 kV. Looks like the 1806 motors as well. We've got the floppy double bladed props. We have the foldable arms. And we've got landing gear and status LED lights in the front arms. We've got the landing pads and the status LED lights on the rear arms or legs, if you want to call it legs. We got the three axis gimbal up in the front. It has 45 degree roll. We got 110 degree pitch and 65 degree yaw. Hence the three axis gimbal. It takes 1080p videos to the micro SD card and also to the Wi-Fi phone app. It takes 720p videos to the app in the SD mode as well. And 4K photos can be had to the app and to the micro SD card. A class 10, 32 gigabyte micro SD card is recommended. On the bottom, we have the optical flow sensor for horizontal position hold when flying indoors. Now the optical flow mode will be displayed as mode one on the remote controller. And in the rear is the battery bay, and the battery is a 7.6 volt, 3400 milliamp size battery, good for up to 28 minutes of flight time. Now the battery from the SG906 Max, although the same milliamp hours and voltage, will not fit, so they are not compatible. So it has four LED lights to indicate the remaining charge of the battery, and a power push button on and off switch short press to check the battery level long press to turn on and off the battery and that is exactly how the quadcopter will be powered on and off slide it in and it will click into place the remote controller is familiar and has the spring-loaded phone holder built into the fold-out antennas but does not have the actual antenna wires running up the inside of each of these antennas so these antennas are just for looks but they do provide a nice stand when you place it on the table the gimbal sticks are comfortable and we have the power push button on and off switch we got some led light indicators we got the LCD display. We have here the speed changing button with a short press and gyro and PTZ or the pan tilt and zoom calibration with a long press. We have the return to home button. We have the video button, short press to take a video, long press to change GPS and non GPS modes. We have the photo button short press for photo and long press for compass calibration bolt sticks to the bottom and in will arm and disarm the motors as well as bolt sticks to the bottom and out in the back we have the headless mode button and the one key to take off and land button we have the camera tilt adjustable buttons up and down and it will take four double a size batteries all right guys so here we go with the flight test the sg908 so let's go ahead and power it on there you go and the remote control and automatically binds we are in mode one by the way uh, that means we are in the optical flow mode so we are not in the gps mode yet we have not acquired any GPS satellites. So what we need to do now, we need to calibrate the compass. So let's go ahead and long press the photo button. There you go. And the lights are blinking on the quad cutter. So let's go ahead and rotate it horizontally. You should hear a beep.
there you go there's a beep now with the nose down rotate it again until another beep there you go one more beep is heard compass calibration is complete and now for the gyro calibration as well as the pan tilt zoom calibration so long pressing the speed button there you go once the lights go solid and the gimbal has calibrated as well there we go gyro calibration is complete and you heard a long beep that means we have acquired the necessary GPS satellites I show 15 and we have changed the mode too so we know we are in GPS mode all right so basically we are all set so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my phone connect to the app and it is called the XIL XIL Pro app free downloadable app in the App Store so go ahead and check it out I'm gonna go into my Wi-Fi and connect to the network it's called the XL Pro 5G network and I'm connected already and I'm gonna hit the app let it start there you go I'm gonna go ahead and screen record three oops hello screen record three two one and we are screen recording hopefully it continues to record so let's go into the settings here and you can choose beginner mode or just leave it default is the non beginner mode and I'm gonna leave it on the non beginner mode and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start please pay attention to safety blah 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 three meters okay we are in the Wi-Fi interface and it is looking pretty good so far so let's go ahead and take some photos I'm gonna take some photos of the hard remote here okay there you go shutter noise there we go a little bit of a gloomy day okay here we go I'm rolling the quadcopter but the three axis gimbal is doing its job looks like pitching it up and down all right and yawing yeah pretty good response one more photo slightly delay reaction on the shutter there we go and final photo all right so here we go i'm gonna go ahead and hit that video record button and we are starting to record a video so now we are ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and arm the motors both sticks to the bottom and in and do that again we'll disarm the motors and both sticks to the bottom and out we'll arm and disarm the motors as well and let's see here in the rear we have the one key to take off and one key to land let's see if it works nope we need to arm the motors first so let's go ahead and arm the motors and then hit the one key to take off there we go it is up and it's going down in altitude i'm gonna raise it back up manually and it's still kind of going down a little bit there we go holding position all right so we are in mode two that means we are in gps mode as well as the optical flow sensor mode combined both together so let's go ahead and check it out here get it angry and let go ho, 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 ho. that is not good guys did a big old toilet bowl activity <laughs> warning do not do that near people only do that in an open field and by yourself and get ready to duck all right so let's go and check it out here one more time that wasn't very good so i'm gonna go ahead and do that again let's go ahead and check out the position hold here let go yeah i didn't pull it that much but it does go back to its position that it was holding all right so i'm curious mode two i want to change over to mode one but as I tried it at home at night, it did not work for me. So maybe 
while I'm in the air, it will work. So I'm gonna long press the video button to change back to mode one. Five seconds. And as you can see, I'm still in mode two. So I am unable to go back to mode one. That means I am unable to get out of the GPS position mode and fly only in the optical flow sensor mode. So holding it again, yeah, nothing. So that part for me does not work. Let's see how the camera angle tilt is. I'm gonna go ahead and up it and point it all the way down, 90 degrees. Yeah, that seems to be working pretty good. I mean, it's pretty fast too. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out here. Let's see what speed we are in. Okay, let's start off in speed number one. Breeze is kicking in a little bit. And check it out, I'm pitching all the way and I'm at a full yaw. And that is the speed and the turning ability in speed number one. Pretty wide turns and not much of a pitch. Good for taking videos. And hopefully we got some good videos going. Yeah, so far it looks like it's really nice. Okay, coming straight towards me, sort of, and here I am. I'm gonna do the uh, camera tilt again. Can go all the way up and all the way down. Let's do one click at a time. There you go. Not bad. All right, we also have a pinch to zoom. I don't know if that's gonna show up in the SD card or is it just in the app so you can view it okay coming straight and going over me okay so speed number two there we go slightly more pitch and now full yaw seems like it's turning a little bit faster now there you go picked up a little bit of speed and wait a minute kind of made a wide turn and then now it's making a tighter turn look at that it makes a wide turn and a little bit tighter turn okay so be careful with that it doesn't make a complete round 360 degree circle with speed number two y'all Okay, I'm not moving my fingers at all. And see how it kind of veers off like that. And it starts to turn again. That is the behavior of this SG908. Supposed to have 28 minutes of flight time. So we should have tons of flight time here. All right, look at that. Let's do the uh, gimbal test. Do a little yaw. Let me go down in altitude a little bit here. All right, let me do some roll back and forth. See how that comes out on video. Kind of hard for me to see what's on my screen here on the FPV because it's kind of a gloomy day. There we go. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna go forward. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so let's do one of those away things. There you go, a small one. All right, so what is next here on our agenda? Let's see, this thing does have headless mode as well. So let's go ahead and check out the headless mode. And that should be this button right here. Okay. And it does send out a continuous beep so there you go doesn't matter which way the quadcopter is facing push it and it'll go forward pull it it'll come back to you see that it's coming back sideways so headless mode works fine I'm gonna put it in a spin and there you go it's coming back and forth in a spin and left and right as well in a spin 
Yeah, Hellas mode works great. There we go. And it tells you you are in Hellas mode, so I'm going to go ahead and exit the Hellas mode. Okay. So let's see now. Speeds 1, 2, and the Hellas mode. And I am unable to get into the optical flow sensor mode only. So let's go ahead and land it and establish our new home point which I want it to be the landing pad there we go and the motor shut off by himself and place it right in the middle of the landing pad and one key to take off let's see how high it goes from the ground whoa look at that it goes back down and it kind of bobs up and down right there Okay, I'm going to manually lift it up and push it out a little ways right about there. And let's check out the return to home. This will be the return to home button. So press it and oh, it reacts right away. And there's a beep coming out for the remote control. It's rising up in altitude. Waste, wasted no time. So that is good rising up to the designated altitude turns around and heads back nice so this quadcopter says it's a 4k quadcopter but it only takes 4k photos and only 1080p videos either to the sd card or to the phone app and on the phone app you can either change from sd to hd as well but to the SD card, it will only record 1080p. So within the app, it is recording SD because I think it is set to SD by default. Okay, coming down rather quickly and slows down. And looks like I'm gonna miss the landing pad by a little bit, but that is still very good. All right, all automatic. There you go. Oh, and the beep stopped. It has finished this landing process and the return home process, so that is good. Okay, still recording video. That's great. Everything is going good. I'm gonna just manually take off this time. Full throttle manual takeoff. And let's send it. There's somebody driving in the desert, taking a shortcut. Okay, now, what I want to check out is the ability for it to do fail safe return to home. Now in the instruction manual, it says it needs the remote control to lose connection and the phone app to lose connection. So let's go ahead and check it out and see if that is true. So I'm going to turn off the remote control. First, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video recording just in case. Okay, I have stopped the video recording. I'm gonna start it on again to save the previous clip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the remote. There you go, remote has been turned off. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, looks like it's not doing anything at all. So it needs the app to be turned off as well. And then it'll do its fail safe return to home so let me take a look at the app here very hard to see this app here out in the sun and gloomy conditions yeah my brightness level is all the way up still screen recording and let's see here I got virtual stick so you can fly this thing with the virtual sticks yeah it looks like it Yep, I am flying it with the virtual sticks and that is the reason why it will not come back home. It is still connected, so to speak. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out the fail safe by killing the phone app. Hopefully it continues to record video. So let's go ahead and kill the phone app. 
Okay. Hello. Okay. Kill the phone app and immediately it is rising up in altitude. And it's going to do its fail safe return home. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, power button on the remote control as soon as it starts to turn around and come back. Oh, it's not going to turn around. Okay. Look at that. I have stopped the failsafe return to home dead on its track by reconnecting with the hard remote. And I have taken over controls with the hard remote. Okay, so failsafe only works when both devices lose connection, which I'm not a fan of. I would rather it does a return to home when just the remote control gets disconnected and the app is still turned on so let's see here I'm gonna go into the settings and the reconnect and I'm still connected to the XL Pro I'm gonna go into the app man it's hard to see out here okay XL Pro I'm gonna hit start and same three meters and looks like I, I'm kind of crooked here with the gimbal do I still have connection yeah I got video I got video back it is not showing that it is recording however so and the gimbal looks kind of crooked for some reason okay let me do some roll to readjust all right so I'm not sure if it is taking a video. So maybe it stopped taking a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the video button. And it looks like now it is taking a video. All right, so be careful when you lose connection, you might lose video. I'm not sure if I got that recorded. And it's a good thing I stopped my first session and saved it. Okay, so now I'm back. But looks like I'm in speed number one. All right. Okay, let's, so let's do some cruising here. I'm gonna go in the shade, see if I can see this thing a little bit better. Lots of reflection here. Okay, I'm gonna tilt up the camera just a slight bit. There we go. And pitch forward. Yeah, it looks like I got pretty good video. This thing's supposed to have 800 meters of Wi-Fi distance and 1,200 meters of control distance. And it's going way over there. It looks to be pretty smooth. There's those mountains. And turn around. Yeah, not bad. I'm liking it. Okay. Okay, coming over me. There you go. And I am pushing it and the battery level is starting to show that it's only got a little bit of juice left here, maybe like quarter tank. So we have a low voltage return to home in which it will come back and you are still able to control it within a 20 meter geofencing. So I'm just zigzagging my way around and looks like it's doing pretty good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna tilt the camera down. Where am I? I lost myself. Okay, I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit. There you go. And center my position and come straight towards myself. 
Yeah. Okay, and turn around. A little bit more, a little bit more, and there we go. Come towards myself again, and pass over me. And there you go. Yeah, not bad at all. So far so good with this one. Everything seems to be working good. And we should be hitting the low voltage very soon because it is showing only one bar remaining. And the battery life indicator. Oop, uh, frozen in time for a little bit behind the opposite side of a car. So there you go, ZLL SG908. Pretty decent GPS quad so far. The only thing that I don't like is that the failsafe doesn't kick in until both devices are disconnected. Not a fan of that. I'm just gonna push it out there's some birds flying over there and let's see which buttons can I press here okay go up in view and I'm continuing to push it and it is continuing to go and I still got great video I'm not sure how far I am I can't read those small numbers Wow, it's got great distance. Even video distance. Okay. I'm running low on battery, so I'm going to go ahead and turn around. Okay. I think... There's some red letters showing up in the middle of the screen. Low power, it says. And looks like it might be heading its way back. Yep, I have a feeling it is doing a return to home here. And that will be the low voltage return to home. And I do see it, small speck of dot. I believe it's going up in altitude. Hopefully it's got enough battery power to make it back home here. Okay. And I hear some beeps coming off either from the phone app or the remote control. There you go. Beep, 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 beep. And here it comes. So this will be the low voltage return to home. Let's see if it makes it all the way back and has enough battery power. Yeah, and it comes forward facing too. And look at that. The takeoff spot was there, and it is still, yeah, it is still kind of <laughs> positioning itself over it. So I wonder if it's going to come down, or is it just going to hover there and allow me to fly around? Oh, it's sort of turned around. Is it coming down though? I don't know if it's coming down. Okay, am I screen recording? Ah, maybe my screen recording has ceased. Ah, oh, I'm still screen recording, so it is still working. Yeah, it is not coming down. So we are in the first phase of low voltage I am manually bringing it down right now. So it just hovers up there. So you are able to still fly about as you see fit. And this will be a good time to just go ahead and land it to save battery power. 
and not to deplete the battery all the way if you are flying it and if you have this quadcopter or any other quadcopter for that matter so you don't want to deplete the battery all the way down it is not a good thing to do for the life expectancy of the battery um, but this is a test so I'm going to go ahead and fly about and see what it does when it hits the critical low voltage oh it had a little jerky movement right there and see what happens does it return to home or does it just land in its place so let's push it out oh there's oh there's that geofencing that 20 meter geofencing that's what it was doing okay let's see here i'm gonna go sideways so you guys can see 20 meter geofencing boom hits the geofencing so i'm not able to go beyond that geofencing guys so i do like the geofencing feature of gps quads but sometimes the geofencing limits the ability for you to you know fly and utilize your battery life and if the low voltage between low voltage and critical voltage phase is a very long period then you are wasting a lot of battery it would be nice to have quadcopter makers uh, put a feature in there so you can decide when the low voltage kicks in but then again you know these are for the masses and just in case you are flying kind of far away and low voltage kicks in you do want enough battery life to make it back home and it seems like i have more than enough battery life to make it back home and then some so it will be nice to set your own parameters depending on how you like to fly. If you like to fly nearby and finish up more videos, it would be nice if I can still fly around maybe 50 meters away, let's say, you know? And still finish up my video recording and I'm not limited to just 20 meter radius. So it seems like the low voltage phase is pretty long within this 20 meter radius yeah nice nice video so far y'all pitch forward pull back oh what's going on now i see some red letters and it is rising up in altitude so I believe we have entered the critical phase of the low voltage return to home and at which time it is rising up in altitude to the designated height and it is just gonna meander its way towards the position above the takeoff point and hopefully it slowly descends by itself oh and it kind of turns around too and it is descending there you go very nice no complaints here on this quadcopter the zll sg 908 not bad at all go home and check out the video and see how good the video came out and there you go making a landing kind of a little away from the takeoff spot but that is still very very good all right guys so there you go my review and test of the zll rc's sg908 the coon thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time not bad okay so stop the video all right